All right, let's see. Class? Yes. yes. Where are you on that one? Put the damn phone away. All right, so verifying trigonometric identities. Now, this is like the whole actual math reason to do this. I have a completely different way. My way is usually pretty, pretty straightforward. And actually, everyone else has actually got pretty good from it. But if you want the actual math and ease version, it's here on the notes. So I, I, I try to actually show everything. But uh, fundamental, blah, 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 blah. Wah, 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 Caution. One side match the other. All right. All that other stuff is really good. It is. I don't know too many people in here that might end up becoming a mathematician or you know someone that needs to learn how to speak Mathanese. It's all good there. But we're going to use what I've been teaching since the very beginning. X, Y, and R. And when I'm dealing with identities, R is always very good. So let's go ahead and translate this from trig into algebra. Cotangent. Cotangent is? X over Y. Okay. X over Y plus 1 is equal to cosecant. What's cosecant? R over Y. But what is R going to be? One, so it's one over parentheses. Cosine. Just x, right? Or x over one to make, I'm gonna put x over one because I'm already dealing with the fraction here. Plus, sine. Y, oh yeah, my little thingy messed up. Come on now, come on, you can do it. Ah, y over one. There we go. Is cos always going to be x? Like, huh? Is cos always going to be x? Like sometimes yeah. It's just x. Cosine. You could just write x if you want to. And for sine, you could write y if you want to. But for the purpose of my demonstration, because I have a fraction in here, I'm going to keep them all fractions. Because when I multiply fractions, I multiply top times top, bottom times bottom. And you have to understand that if you're multiplying by something and it's not a fraction, it's actually considered that it's in the numerator and that the denominator has to be one. So if I was multiplying one half times five, one half times five, it's one over two times five over one. So if I were to try and multiply those together and keep it as a fraction, my answer would be five over two. I know this actually, like mental math, some people you have to like Im image it or think about it. So what I'm gonna do here is, this looks pretty simplified. So I wanna make the right side, which is a little bit more complicated, into the left side. The one over y is doing what to those parentheses? What's it called? Yeah. It's Distribute, right? So I'm going to multiply. I'm going to distribute that. So let's see. Let's distribute here. So if I multiply 1 over y times x over y, what's 1 times x? It's, uh, so it's x right? Over, over y. Yep, very good. y times 1 is y. And now over here, when I distribute this, it's going to be 1 times y is y. y. So it's plus y over y times 1. Okay, it's still y. 
still y. But what is y divided by y? So this simplifies to x over y plus 1. Is that the same as that now? Uh -huh. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. Oh, really? Yeah. For real, that's it. Yeah, because what's it say you're doing? Verifying. No verifying that it's true, right? Yeah. I'm telling you right now, these are all going to be true. So in some way, shape, or form, you could make the left side into the right side. Or the other way around, the right side into the left side. So it's not always going to be simple. My, like expanding it. Expanding it. Yeah, there, there's different things. That's the word. But starting out, they are equal. That's something that you have to you have to start off knowing. They are equal. You have to figure out how to get them to look like each other. Very good. That's it. Okay. Make the left side look like the right side. Okay. Now, I don't require you to turn this back into trigonometry. Some people do because I, I, we translated trigonometry into algebra. Is the algebra easier? The algebra is a whole lot easier than trying to do it using trig identities. And this is why I do it like this. So hopefully people actually are yay or nay. Okay, good. So we're going to do it again. And someone's not going to have their phone out because they're going to be doing the work. Now, before I do this, translate it for me. On your paper, translate it. Before I do this, I want you to translate this. These are things you should know by now. We've been doing it since last semester. All righty, let's see, let's check what you got. So, tangent squared, tangent itself is y squared over, uh, I'm sorry, y over x but tangent squared is y squared over x squared. There we go. Times 1 plus cotangent. Uh, x over y. X over y, right? So it's x squared over y squared. And that's got to be equal to this one, which is 1 over 1 minus just y squared here. Why am I not going to put y squared over 1? Because you're putting fraction over fraction. Yeah, I don't really, I don't want to have fraction over fraction because y divided by 1 is still just y. And I, the 1 is normally just a placeholder when I have other fractions. What are you going to do with the x? Are you just going to leave it on its own? Like tangent, tangent squared x. That's the that's the variable. That's oh, like theta. Okay. Oh, so rem good. remember when I write these out and I do all these problems and I usually leave off like the theta, the x, the alpha, the beta, all those things. It it changes all the time. It's whatever variable that one's using. Okay. So it could, it could have been theta, it could have been whatever. It's yeah. The same thing. Okay. So yeah, they like using the Greek alphabet for this. So it so it's theta, alpha, beta, and. And X, I guess. I'm, I'm just trying to remember all the ones that we actually use in this class. So, All right. Which one is more complicated? The left side, isn't it? So the left side is more complicated than the right side. So let's start with the left side and try to make it look like the right side. Okay. So again, this is another distribute. Y squared over X squared times 1. Uh, that's just the same thing. Y squared over X squared. Plus. Now, 
y squared over x squared times x squared over y squared. Wouldn't it just be yeah, like x y squared? Or, oh, it's going to be one. What's going to happen to the y squareds here? Oh, they're going to end up canceling out. Yeah. And then the x squareds also cancel. Yeah. So when I cancel everything out. So, hmm. there's a couple different ways so I could actually do this one. And I'm going to pull up a, a whole bunch of different identities, which I had you guys make in the last set of notes. That's my Pythagorean identity, right? Okay. I'm going to rewrite this. So I'm going to rewrite this, and I'm going to start by subtracting y squared from both sides. So I have a identity here. So if I subtract y squared, I get x squared is equal to 1 minus y squared. This is another identity. What if I take my Pythagorean identity over here and instead of subtracting y squared, I subtract x squared? What would it be if I subtract x squared instead of y squared? I would have y squared is equal to 1 minus x squared. That's another identity we're going to use. Yeah. OK. So I could use those now, but I'm going to put more on here before we actually start doing this other one. Before we finish that problem, I'm going to add more to this. When we had these before, I, I had you guys taking my Pythagorean identity, which is x squared plus y squared equals 1. I divided everything by x squared. So if I divide everything by x squared, I get x squared over x squared plus y squared over x squared is equal to 1 over x squared. Kevin, you're looking at me crazy again. You all right? Do you understand what I did? You understand dividing everything because whatever I do to one side, I do to the other, right? So I did that there. Now what's going to happen to x squared over x squared? Uh, one. one plus y squared over x squared is equal to 1 over x squared. Now, given this one right here, y squared over x squared, what does that translate to trig? It's tangent squared, right? So that would turn into tangent squared, wouldn't it? Oh, good. So. I'm going to rewrite this a little bit to make it look a little bit similar. So what if instead I put the one after this? Is it still a positive one? Yeah. So I'm going to just rewrite it because this is an identity, but I'm going to rewrite it to make it look a little bit better. So the same identity right here, the same identity, but I rewrote it because I wanted to match what we were doing on the previous page. So we have two different ones now. So here's another identity here, another one here. And now I'm going to do the same thing with my 
instead of dividing everything by x squared, I'm going to divide everything by y squared. So x squared plus y squared equals 1. Divide everything by y squared, I get x squared over y squared plus y squared over y squared is equal to 1 over y squared. So that's going to simplify x squared over y squared plus 1 is equal to 1 over y squared. So the whole point of the identities is to replace something with something else. And I'm not saying you have to memorize these things right now, but you should at least get like this, you know, kind of, what's that that noise from, from that, like, was it Rainbow Six or whatever, when someone likes to notice you, you know, Wee! you know, that, that noise when, you know, you're noticed. Yeah, there we go. All right. It's the old siege when they, like, catch you. Yeah, when they catch you, you all of a sudden, because you're sneaking around, all of a sudden you hear someone catches you and you hear that, Wee! you know, on there. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. You're supposed to be doing a stealth mission. Anyway. What it should do is should ring a bell in your head that, hey, that looks familiar. I need to check my identities to see if I could actually make my life easier. All these identities are going to make my life easier. So just go through all that kind of stuff? You don't have to go through all this stuff. You have this identity and this identity. So we have, let's see, if I, if I box them all in so I know which ones I have. So this is my first one second, and third, right there. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have seven different identities there that we're using right now. All these things right here are gonna make your life easier. And these are all variations of the Pythagorean identity. Now let's go back to, where is, right, there we go, okay. Okay, so right here in red, can I simplify my life? Can I replace y squared over x squared plus 1 with anything? I'm hoping you guys say yes, because everyone should be looking at identity. What can I replace that one with? It's on your paper. Yeah, what you got? Uh, not that one because I got y squared on top. One over x squared. So this one is y squared over x squared plus one is equal to one over x squared. Ah, wrong way. There we go. Come on, there we go. Right here. So we have y squared over x squared in blue. Yes? Oh, oh, I know what you're talking about now. I get it. Y squared over x squared plus 1. Yeah. I'm replacing all of this because these are equal. Identity is something that's equal. I could replace it with it. Y squared plus x, uh, y squared over x squared plus 1 is equal to 1 over x squared. So I just simplified and took away all that and replaced it with 1 over x squared. A little bit better? OK. So uh, it was x squared plus y squared the whole thing right okay. Right there. So now I took care of that. Let's bring down that equal sign. Let's see if y'all pay attention. Can I make my life easier? Yeah. What can I do here? Huh? Yeah. I'm not saying you should look at the identities. It is an identity.
What identity am I using? Let me look it up there. Did you write them all down? What identity am I going to use? X squared. X squared, right? Because I have I have 1 minus y squared, don't I? I have 1 minus y squared, so whenever I see 1 minus y squared, I'm going to replace that with x squared. So 1 minus y squared on the bottom is being replaced with x squared. Now, are they equal? Are they the same thing? There we go. Does that make sense? The identities are something that are going to super help you on this. If you were to have to use the full trig identities, there's like a whole crap load of them. But if you use just x, y, and r, I eliminated it down to just seven of the same Pythagorean identity just rewritten. Alrighty. So anyway, I, instead of actually going to this one right here, I'm going to stop here for today. And you guys are going to make sure you like, share, and subscribe. You hit that notification button and support my channel. Okay, buy something from my merch store. <laughs>